Hello guys and welcome once again to my channel. If you have been here and if you haven't, it is so nice of you to pass by. So for today's video, I'm going to show you a really quick and simple and super easy spring makeup look that you can do in like 10 minutes. So if you want to see how I did that, just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do as always is prime my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. And then I will set that primer with the color Classic from my Tardiest Pearl Palettes. And all three shades that I'm going to use today are from the same palettes. And you heard that right, I'm only using three shades. I told you this would be an easy look. So next I'm taking the color Whimsy, which is like a tangerine type of color. And I'm applying that all over my crease and also in the outer part of my eyelid. And that is the secret to doing a really, really quick and simple look. It's just to take a color that is darker than your skin tone, but still very suitable. And then applying most of it on your crease and then slightly making it fade out by blending it a lot. So you can leave it just like that and it's already a beautiful look or you could take it up a notch and apply a subtle shimmery shade which is what I'm doing and this one is in the color Glam. And I'm just applying that on my lid and also on my inner corners. So I'm not completely done with the eyes but for now I'm just going to move on to the face. I already primed my skin with the Bare Minerals Prime Time Primer and I'm just applying some foundation and this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation which I have been really enjoying lately. It gives me a very flawless but still natural looking finish. And I'm just blending that out with this buffing brush by Tarte which I've been really into lately as opposed to my Morphe M439. I just like that this one is smaller and since I always do my brows before my face, I feel like it doesn't interfere that much with my brows. Next I'm just applying some concealer under my eyes and also down the center of my nose and forehead and this one is more my skin tone as opposed to like a lighter one because I have been enjoying the more natural look lately as opposed to like highlight and heavy contouring and all of that and also instead of using a sponge like I usually do since this is a quick look I'm going old school YouTube and using a fluffy brush to blend out my concealer and I feel like it still gives me a very nice look but just not as intense as like a sponge would. Next I am applying my favorite summer spring bronzer which is this one by Chanel. I just feel like it gives you such a subtle natural bronzy look and it's just perfect for like these sunnier days. And speaking of sunnier days another product that I have been obsessed with is this highlighter by Marc Jacobs. I did receive this from Influencer Complimentary and I am obsessed with it. It smells so good, it smells like a vacation and it's so glowy yet so subtle and it doesn't emphasize like my texture since it is a cream product. Next I'm just setting my concealer with my La Mercier Translucent Powder. I recently ran out of my secret brightening powder and I can totally tell the difference. I miss it so much and I am actually heading out to Sephora today to get that powder again because I miss it a lot. It's my favorite. But this one is okay too. Then I am bronzing up my skin just a little bit more by using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer which is the most subtle lightest bronzer that I own and then to intensify that glow I'm just applying some Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill. Next I'm applying a peachy blush and this one is by Tarte in the color Party which I think is exclusive to like Sephora's VIB birthday thing. I'm not completely sure but it might be. So if you don't have it or you can't get it as long as you use like a light peachy shade you'll be completely okay. Then I'm just applying a little bit of mascara and this is the Maybelline Lash the Little Mascara which is my favorite drugstore mascara and this is the waterproof one and trust me it is intense to take off then to finish off my eyes i am applying just a little bit more of that glowy shade on my eyelids just to make it a little more intense and that's basically going to be it for the eyes i'm not even applying full lashes because realistically during the summer and the spring i have allergies so i don't really bother too much with my eyes then to finish off this entire look i am trying for the first time this liquid lipstick by the brand at bh cosmetics and this one is in the color serene it is a nice peachy corally shade but i thought it was a little too bright 
So I ended up applying some gloss right on top of it and this one is by Victoria's Secret in the color Charm. And that actually brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this look, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I could swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin.